Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. I have recently purchased this on-the-go planner folio. Can't remember if that's exactly what Erin Condren called it or not, but I know it's a type of planner folio for the petite planners. And I just kind of wanted to show you my setup and we're gonna go ahead and plan a month in one of the petite planners. So I've got this little Simply Gilded bag tucked in here. Inside of it, I've got some different challenges I wanna try. Um, and that is actually what I'm gonna use the 2019 Petite Planner for, it is going to be like a challenge journal. I didn't realize that it was a 2019 monthly planner when I bought it. Um, I should have paid better attention. So since I didn't, and I have no um, need for another monthly, I decided to make a challenge journal. So what I'm gonna do is I've kind of got a little post-it over here of different challenges I wanna try each month. So I've got like some fitness challenges, some saving challenges, declutter challenges, different things like that that I've got stickers for both here and in this little Simply Gilded bag. So first I'll go ahead and I'll show you what planners I've got in here and then we'll go ahead and we're gonna lay out this 52 week challenge, um, savings challenge for the year and then we're also gonna lay out my first challenge for January. Um, so I've got this monthly petite in here and then I've got the wellness log in here. Um, I also went ahead and I put in the gratitude journal and I'm not sure if I wanna try to do this like every other day or maybe once a week, just answer the prompt and kind of do it that way. I haven't decided yet, um, but I really wanna definitely try to use this. And then I've got the travel journal. We don't travel a lot, but I am working on scrapbooking of sorts for our vacation we just had with my daughter over the summer, and so I need to fill this in. I figured if I went ahead and put it in here, I would remember to take the time to fill it in when I've got some downtime. So those are the four planners I've decided to put in here. Um, we're gonna see how that works. I did order some of the other petite planners though that I can use as well. So let me get this one out and we are gonna work on January. The challenge I wanted to do for January is a no spend. Um, and I might do a doodle challenge, but I haven't found one I like, and we're already into January. Um, so I thought a no spend would just be better um, since I did not get this set up until now that we're already a little bit further in. Now I did already start my savings challenge, um, so I am gonna go ahead and just lay that out. And then um, I'll also just lay some no spin stickers out and go that way. So I'm just gonna lay it right here every week on Sunday. That way it's not too in the way, but I'm still keeping track. And I'm gonna do it on Sunday for this month because I'm just doing the no spend. I think for other months I might actually try to put it further over so that if I'm doing a doodle challenge, I can write it in. Um, so, and hopefully this will help me get our savings back up since we had some unexpected cost in December with water damage thanks to an ice storm. I'm hoping I can just kind of build that back up. So let's go ahead and we'll lay down our no spin stickers and then I'll just lay down the rest of these um, as I do each month so that I can make room for them. So the no spin stickers I've got are these here. It says seriously stop spending money. And then I've got these cute little ones from Wonton and a Million. I already used the trackers from a no spend I already did. So I'm just going to take this little no spend right here. And we're gonna put it right under January. It is January no spend. And then um, just wanna lay some little decorative stickers around to kind of remind me not to spend money. Now I do wanna leave this note section open. Um, that way if I want to use it, I can. But I'm just trying to decorate this up a little bit. So, and I think I'm just gonna put a little check mark or an X um, if I uh, spend. So not much to set up for this month. Again, I was just wanting to 
put an emphasis on a no spend since I didn't start early. So I just laid a couple stickers down, put no spend up there, and then got our tracker here. And then I'll put this little seriously stop spending money right here. Just kind of reminders of not to spend any unnecessary money. And there's those. So that's all I'm going to do for this month. Um, but I am going to go ahead and lay out my savings trackers for the rest of the year. Um, that way they're down, I am obligated, and I don't have to worry about forgetting to put them down or misplacing them, as sometimes happens when you have a little person in your house. Sometimes things move. Um, so let's see, did I do it? Um, so there is the 30th, so this week we'll not get it here, but we'll put it right here, and it's actually got just enough space right there for it, which is perfect, but I think I'll just kind of put it in the middle of that week. Okay, and so by the end of this, we should have 1378 saved to go towards whatever we need it towards. And um, that will be the week of Christmas. So who knows, maybe I'll even get enough Christmas money I can start out 2020 with a bang. So I just kind of laid them all on the side. Now I didn't do that for January because January is just a no spend, but I didn't know what I wanted to do for the upcoming months. So I went ahead and just put it in the sidebar for all of those. So that's all I'm doing for this planner. It's just going to be a challenge planner. I've got some stickers set aside to use in upcoming months and we'll just see how that goes. So thank you so much for watching and have a great night. Bye.